A faulty zit doesn't necessarily mean needing to replace your entire kit. Instead, here are our top tips and tricks for repairing your zip. Check whether any fabric is caught in the zip and remove with tweezers or by hand if so. If not, take a look at the individual teeth. If any of the teeth are sticking out, move them back into place with a pair of pliers. If the teeth are straight, there might be an issue with the slider mechanic. Over time, the slider can start to come apart and lose grip of the teeth of the zip. Check that the surrounding fabric isn't caught in the teeth. Assess for any snags, folds or tangles that may have got caught. If you find the surrounding fabric is caught, gently pull it away from the zip, either by hand or with tweezers, but make sure you don't tear the fabric. If it's still snagging, then take a graphite pencil and rub the front side of the teeth, focusing on the middle where the teeth intersect. If the zip glides smoothly, wipe off the remaining graphite. If the zip continues to stick, use a product with more lubrication. Common household items such as soap, window cleaner or lip balm will do the trick. Add the product directly to the teeth. Gradually pull down the zip, applying more product as you go, and continue to do so until the zip comes all the way down. Keep the product on the zip, avoiding the surrounding fabric to prevent discoloration and staining. Sometimes the zip just won't stay up. It's a very annoying problem, and the best way to handle this is to apply some hairspray, which gives it some resistance. If none of these work, the zip might just need replacing completely. And for a zip replacement, you can request a quote from our team. We can repair everything from performance fabrics to synthetic and waterproof materials. I hope you enjoyed watching and that these tips and tricks help you get the most out of your kit.